Hey folks, it is Sunday, July 9th. The time is 3.42 p.m. and the temperature is around 24 degrees Celsius. And that was Queens Park Station I just climbed out of. That's the intersection of Queens Park and College. Or I guess University and College to the south side of the intersection. And that's the direction the camera is facing. And there's a walk sign here. So I'm gonna hurry up and try to make this light cycle. And there is the Provincial Legislative Assembly at Queen's Park. And a look south down University and apparently this bike lane has just been fully restored. But for this one, I'm gonna head west along College here over to McCall Street and then I'll walk south down the entire length of McCall. And then I think I'll continue south on Duncan Street into the Entertainment District. I was just in the area having a late brunch. And on the north side of college is mostly the University of Toronto St. George campus. And there on the left is the Toronto Athletic Club, otherwise known as the Stewart Building. That was built in 1894, designed by E.J. Lennox. He's also behind Old City Hall, the King Edward Hotel, Casaloma and some 30 odd other buildings throughout the city. But I'll be going left at McCall Street. I think I did a similar video to this on Valentine's Day a few years ago. And if I were to continue going straight on college at Spadina, we'd be at the north end of Chinatown. And then just beyond that would be Kensington Market. And I've still been meaning to record Kensington Market on the last Sunday of the month for Pedestrian Sundays. Hopefully I can get around to that one this July. And the city is currently working on building protected bike lanes on this stretch of college. They haven't yet got to this section. Although there are some curbs in place, so they've made some progress at least a little bit west of here. This is south on McCall. There's a UFT building, the communications house. And one of the neat things about this street is you get a pretty cool view of the CN Tower most of the way. It is a quieter street. There's the health sciences building on the left. There's a CN Tower coming into the shot. I think about two or three weeks ago, I did a walk south down St. Patrick Street, which is one over from here, parallel to McCall. And we'll 
also be walking by where a speakeasy pub is called After Seven. There's the Ronald McDonald House, and it looks like there's a redevelopment notice in front of it. Looks they wanted, like they want to build this property out and add 18 stories to it. I think that's like an outreach center of sorts. There's McCall Ord Park. And that sits right behind Mount Sinai Hospital. This area is referred to as Toronto's Discovery District. And there's a lot of old homes over there. That one is boarded up. But we'll be walking through Baldwin Village in a few blocks. Where things won't be quite as sleepy. McCall Street itself is only a little over a kilometer in length. So it shouldn't take too long to walk down at all. I might just be ping-ponging From side to side on the street, there's the Holy World Church. And you'll notice there's Chinese characters in front of the church as this area is very close to Chinatown. And this is Baldwin Street coming up. That'll be the heart of Baldwin Village. We'll just take a quick look through this stretch of Baldwin Village. It only extends a few blocks in this direction. This is almost one of the city's better kept secrets. It's a nice quiet street with a lot of outdoor patios. And some neat places to dine. Guys, brakes didn't sound too healthy.
the, well not eat, but like, <laughs> And then by 7 o'clock, everybody's going, let's go to the... Authentic French cuisine. Is it Jimmy's Coffee right next to a Krispy Kreme? And that is private parking for St. Patrick's Church, which is just on the left here. That's undergoing a fairly extensive renovation. And I'm guessing because this land is owned by the church, that's the only thing that has spared it from redevelopment over the years. The parking lot will be closed and locked outside of scheduled church activities. There's the church property. St. Patrick Street is just on the other side. But that church was originally founded in 1861. But I think the current property was built in 1908. And here is Sin and Redemption. I haven't been here in quite a while. And coming up is Dundas Street. Just look at that area being added on to the church property. I have no idea what that building is actually. But here is Dundas Street West. <laughs> and the Art Gallery of Ontario. And that addition was designed by Frank Geary. And later on we'll be walking by a stretch of King Street where he's got a number of very tall towers proposed. I think even approved. There's a 501 Queen streetcar. As just east of here, which is to the left, the streetcars are no longer running along Queen due to Ontario Line subway construction. So that they're diverting north up to Dundas and running along Dundas into the east side of downtown. But coming up is OCAD University. I'm just trying to remember for us. This building on stilts here on the right. And that was designed by an architect, Will Aslop. When I was in high school, it was known as the Ontario College of Art and Design, but it was just a college back then. But in 2002, it was granted university status. And it formally renamed itself to OCAD University in 2010. But this controversial tabletop design was finished in 2015. I think given that it's a College of Art and Design, it's appropriate. And we need more 
whimsical structures in the city. There's a look into the popular Grange Park. I'll spin around and get another view of OCAD in a moment. This is an interim park. Interim park is a temporary condition. That does not sound right to me. Funky English aside, I think that spot is slated for redevelopment. And I think this building on the right here is where that speakeasy is. It is quite small and often it is full. There is a way to get reservations online, but you go in through here There's doors in the back that lead into the bar. And that AS stands for After Seven, the name of the speakeasy. You can see they've kind of blacked out all the windows. There's another bar I'll be walking by that kind of has a hidden front. That's on King Street. I'll point that out when I get there. view north up McCall Street and we are almost at the end at Queen Street. I think a streetcar is turning north here. thinking that might be a neat thumbnail shot with the streetcar and the CN Tower in the background, but all these parked vehicles on the left kind of getting in the way. Oh well. Some of those towers off in the distance are all part of the entertainment district. And here we are at Queen Street West. I'm gonna cross the street and continue down Duncan. Queen Street West is busy today. I guess that's to be expected, a nice weekend in the summer. I 
And here is Duncan Street. You know what that walk I did? Oh. Down St. Patrick Street not too long ago. Did I go down Duncan on that? I don't really want to duplicate that effort. Let me see here. Buddy, how's it going? You're having Oops. a lovely day. Really. I just pulled up Lewis Rossman's YouTube channel. Recent videos here. We're at Richmond. Let's see here. I did, so let's go over. Sure, let's cross the street here. When the opportunity presents itself, we'll head over to John, then south down to King. This venue across the street is a joint effort between the 5th Social Club, or Social Lounge, whatever they call it, and this bar on the corner. It will be turned into a big park, but right now it is Wine Fest Toronto, actually. So they're holding a big festival here. So this is Richmond Street West. There's the Scotiabank Theater. And on the left is the ballroom. A bowling pub. On the right is a restaurant called Marked. At one point, that was a Milestones. And that place's days are numbered as this entire block is set to be redeveloped. There will be a new movie theater appearing. And on the left, we have an old Jack Astor's location. Adelaide Street. There is Melrose. It's kind of a trendy cocktail bar.
There's La Carnita across the street. Their tacos are decent. They've got a location up in Midtown. And I think another one on Queen Street East, if I'm not mistaken. And here we are, King Street West. That's the Festival Tower and the Bell Lightbox Cinema across the street. Well, the TIFF Bell Light, uh, Lightbox Cinema. It's not throwing it out. Straight ahead at the end of the street is the Sky Dome right up front. You can see part of it in the shot there. All right, let's walk east along King Street and I'll show you that other kind of hidden bar. As I walk past the Princess of Wales Theater. You know what? I've had enough of you. Mervish Walkway, named after Ed Mervish. Used to have a row of restaurants along the street. There's a look at the Frank Gehry Design Towers going up in this area. And I believe this is a staging site for them here. Right next to the Royal Alex Theater. So this was the street I was going to walk down until I realized I just did that in a video a few weeks ago. In that video, I continued south and I went all the way down to the base of the CN Tower. That is Roy Thompson Hall across the street, home of the Toronto Symphony Orchestra. And that bar I mentioned is coming up. Where it says coffee, oysters, champagne. They've got this bar area in the front and this little patio area, but what you want to do is go there and ask to go to the back. It's not open right now, but if you're here on like a Friday or Saturday night, it's quite the happening spot. So you just head in there, talk to the hostess and ask to go to the room in the back and you'll be led through kind of a secret passageway where they will tell you to put your cameras away and don't take any pictures. You'll be in a room full of expensive champagne. And there'll be a hidden door that opens up and leads you into the back room. And there's a pretty happening bar. I think they take reservations because the only time I was there, you kind of had to fend for a seat and they didn't have much. And there's a tower plan for here, the original home of Upper Canada College on the left. Also the Canadian General Electric Company building going back to 1908. I'll 
spin around and get that iconic view of Roy Thompson Hall and the CN Tower. But here we are at King Anne University. So I'm going to hop into St. Andrew's Station and head back up to Midtown. So on that note, I hope you enjoyed this one. Walking south down McCall Street and then into the Entertainment District and over to here at King Anne University. Passing by a couple of hidden drinking locations in the city. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. I have an Instagram and Threads account at Johnny Strides. No Twitter, but I'm on Threads so far. And there is a super thanks button appearing below the video if you wish to say thanks that way. Anywho, <laughs> thank you for watching and I shall catch you in the next one. Doink.